how does alcohol work? It's obviously a fun beverage enjoyed worldwide, but it's also a chemical compound that has significant effects on our body and brain. So let's talk about it. The term alcohol usually refers to ethanol, the type of alcohol found in alcoholic beverages like beer, wine, and spirits. Ethanol is produced through the fermentation of sugars by yeast, a process that converts sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. This simple chemical compound has complex effects on the human body. When you consume an alcoholic beverage, the alcohol enters your bloodstream through the lining of your stomach and small intestine. Unlike food, alcohol does not require digestion, so it's absorbed rather quickly into your body. The rate of absorption can be affected by factors such as food intake, type of drink, and individual factors like body weight, gender, and metabolism. When you have food in your stomach, your alcohol absorption will slow down, and if your drink has a lower amount of alcohol compared to higher amounts, obviously you will absorb alcohol at different rates as well. Though once in the bloodstream, alcohol is carried throughout your body and it affects various organs and systems differently. As anyone that's had a little bit too much alcohol can tell you, it messes with your head and how you operate a little bit more than the rest. One of the primary targets that alcohol affects is the brain. Ethanol acts as a central nervous system depressant, meaning that it slows down brain function and neural activity. It achieves this by affecting neurotransmitters, the chemical messengers that transmit signals in the brain. Alcohol enhances the effects of GABA or gamma aminobutric acid, an inhibitory neurotransmitter leading to sensations like sedation, relaxation, and a decrease in anxiety. Simultaneously, alcohol inhibits the action of glutamate, an excitatory neurotransmitter leading to impairments in cognitive function, memory, and motor skills. Alcohol also increases dopamine levels in the brain's reward system, which can create feelings of pleasure and reinforce the desire to drink. This is one of the many reasons why alcohol can become addictive in some individuals. The combined effects of these neurotransmitters explain why alcohol can make you feel relaxed, lower your inhibitions, and impair your judgment and coordination. Once in the body, though, your body starts trying to get rid of it immediately. This primarily happens in the liver. The liver can only process a certain amount of alcohol per hour, roughly the equivalent of one standard drink. So if you consume alcohol faster than this, your liver can't metabolize it, and the excess alcohol circulates in your bloodstream, leading to intoxication. This is why if you drink slowly, you likely won't feel the effects of alcohol, at least to an extreme degree. The immediate effects of alcohol can ultimately vary based on the amount consumed and varies widely from low to high doses, as anyone who's drank can tell you. Chronic alcohol consumption, though, can have serious long-term effects, as at the end of the day, ethanol, the chemical of alcohol, is ultimately a poison to the body. It can create liver damage, cardiovascular problems, brain damage, and ultimately lead to addiction in many individuals based on the relationship it has with dopamine and the brain's reward center. Understanding how alcohol works in the body provides insights into the way of why it affects us the way it does over the short and long term. While moderate drinking can be enjoyable and socially beneficial, it's important to recognize that there are serious risks associated with alcohol consumption, and at the end of the day, it is still a poison for our body. Making informed decisions about drinking can ultimately help ensure that alcohol remains a part of life that is enjoyed responsibly and safely.